Well, this woman goes to a party. And at this party, she's an older woman, and at the party she meets a gentleman who she finds, you know, very charming, and he is actually does home improvement. So she hires him to put a toilet in a closet that she has in the basement. So <laughs> she has this fella come over, and they go to Home Depot, they buy all this, this stuff, they go back home, and it's time now for her to see the bathroom. So wait, I'm gonna have to show you first. Wait till you see this bathroom. Doesn't this allow you to actually use it without bumping up against the vanity? Yeah, if you sit sideways. Yeah, but you can't get your leg in here. Well, <laughs> you gotta have one leg up. It's almost like a dog leg. You gotta have one leg up, one leg down. No plans. I, that makes no Excuse sense. Excuse me, there was a plan when he was working in the bathroom and I said, Ted, I think and he said, don't do any more thinking. Let me do the thinking. And you know you said that. Well, apparently, that's all you could do in that bathroom is think. Well, because you can't do anything else in it. That's for sure. Well, if you were a man and you were still standing in the in the basement, I suppose if you have good aim. But you'd have to have a unique yeah. angle. It had to be a unique angle. She had to straddle it like a horse. Oh. I mean, I literally had to get over it. And she was very funny. She said, I might not have a good bathroom, but I'm far more flexible than I ever used to be. <laughs> so, all I'm gonna see, like, when I go to sleep tonight is that, that lady is that, going. Exactly. <laughs> I'll give you his phone number. He can make a good No, bed. <laughs> we're good. A couple that rents a room in a home with another young couple, and they're not there like three days when the other couple start accusing them of different things, and they say they see a gun in the apartment, and they also say, the defendant says in this case, that the woman that rented has this weird energy and she had brought a ghost into the home. This is our, by the way, this is our Halloween episode now. Uh, so Halloween, watch this case. And he actually submits into evidence this, um, f this taping that he has of her. And so when you see it, you'll decide whether or not you do see her being followed <laughs> okay. by this black I see the shadow ghost. Let's go. and this ghost. But I, I do want to say, in case you see it, Rachel, I got something from you at the San Gennaro Feast. No, okay, let me see. And this is to ward off oh, to ward any off. ghosts that come in. <laughs> Oh, just in case. Just in case. Let's see. We expect everyone else to keep it clean. And I'm looking for a roommate who's the same. We are 420 friendly. What does that mean? We smoke weed. Ah. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the reason you see ghosts. Maybe. <laughs> you do say Kaylin had weird energy. Yeah. She I have a yeah. surveillance camera up in the house, and the video shows some weird shadow following her. Mm -hmm. Was that before you smoked the joint or after? <laughs> you that's, that's why it's following her all the time. You, you see, you I gotta right. catch you on with this. Right. John, now I know why. I now know I know why they see yeah. ghosts. Now I know why too. <laughs> Crazy. Where do you get these people, man? We just find them across the United States. It's they're amazing. all they're there. They're there. There's a whole Some bunch of them. might of even them. be in here and haven't gotten to us yet. <laughs> In this case, it was me that was the problem. And it was the way I asked this defendant to see his evidence. Oh, dear. And I sort of didn't come you out quite the way I expected show, right? to. <laughs> so is mine. All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's see what they, there is. So you bring in. Pull my in, cell phone out. You bring it. Take it out. You know. Take it out. Don't threaten me with I take no. it out. Take it out and show me. OK. <laughs> OK. Okay, Every once in a while. <laughs> sure, it's funny. It is funny. You know, I, I never thought I would be so fascinated by courtroom cases. Because you know what? People always think that the courtroom scene is going to be very, you know, serene and very uh, austere. And yet, really, that's not what court is always about. And even when I was on the criminal bench in New York, I, it's funny. Things, some things are funny, and the people are funny. And that's really where you get the energy from to be humorous and to, to play off of. Uh, wildly watchable, of course, as you know from five seasons.